What's up, y'all? This your girl, Miss Maggie T with Atlanta Falcons Nation. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button so you won't miss another post from me. But let's go ahead and get into these updates. Looks like the Falcons have made some cuts. Kicker Elliott Fry, wide receiver J1 Green, and tight end David Wells. They are all from the practice squad and have been released. In addition to that, on the team's reserve COVID-19 list, it appears that tight end Parker Hess has returned from that list and is now listed on the depth chart. Speaking of depth chart, it came out as of yesterday, and there is not a lot of changes there, but it does list at uh, Josh Rosen, who is Matt Ryan's backup quarterback, he is now listed as the sole backup quarterback behind him. Now, if this continues, it most likely means that the Falcons may not go with three quarterbacks for too much longer. And you already know that Josh Rosen is the better candidate of the two quarterbacks backups. Now, in addition to that, it does look like there are no changes to Jalen Mayfield's status as that starting left guard. Now, even though he wasn't intended to be the starting left guard, and this is his quote-unquote baptism, according to the Falcons franchise, so he can kind of get out there and got to get started somewhere, right? Um, but he was actually is in replace of Josh Andrews. You know, we had recently signed him, and he was on paper looking to be pushing towards that starting job, but... He actually broke his hand earlier in September, and right now they haven't mentioned when he will return, but give and take a month or so. So, but he most likely will contend for that position. Now, the question is, do we bring in another left guard at this point? Because honestly, um, Mayfield, in my opinion, is just, just, it's not ready. You know, and starting him in that tough situation just probably put a lot of pressure for him. You know, I know he got to get out there, but we got to look at different alternatives at that left guard position. You know, uh, of course, it doesn't rule out the possibility of Drew Dahlman or Kobe Gossett getting extra reps in. You already know Dahlman actually took some snaps in place of Mayfield and graded much better in pass protection. So does that place him ahead of Kobe Gossett at left guard? That's kind of remaining to be seen because you already know that he is a flexible interior player. He's now listed as the backup at left guard, right guard, and center. Now, of course, if that gives him more opportunities on the line, we'll see how that goes. But it still is a need in that position. And as of right now, I haven't heard anything about them trying out anybody else. So we'll see how that goes, you know. But other than that, that's all I got for you for this report as of right now. Um on this Wednesday morning. But if anything additional, I will go ahead and update you guys. I don't know if there's going to be a show tonight. You know, sometimes we are impromptu. But please, once again, hit that subscribe button. Get Atlanta Falcons Nation to 2K and Miss Maggie T's channel to 600. I'm moving on up, y'all. Um, and uh, hey, I'm trying to make my return pretty soon. I've just been missing an action. And I made an appearance on last night's show. Felt pretty good to see you guys once again. But until the next time, this is Maggie T with Atlanta Falcons Nation. And we are the nation. And I'm out. Peace.